Hello everyone, it's Axe Forever. Tonight we're going to be looking at uh, Kaspersky again. We're going to be doing the part two of um, the infected computer cleanup and uh, also the zero day portion of the test. So basically we're going to go ahead and um, scan this pa uh, folder of malware here on the desktop. We have 155 files. I've already counted it down here in my text document. So we'll go ahead and we will do a right click scan for viruses scan with Kaspersky and see. Wow, that was really quick. Uh, it seems like it might be done. Nope, still scanning. Okay. Might take a moment, so we'll see if I need to pause. I will, and if not, be good. I don't think I will, though. Um, okay. Apparently, there's more than what Windows claimed. Um, there's only. Oh, yeah, because there's a folder in within a folder. So, yeah, that might be what it is. Because, yeah, there's only. Um, huh. Interesting. Maybe it doesn't count. I don't know why the Windows counter is not. What? Okay, I'm really confused at this point. <laughs> this scanner has confused me because there's only 155 files, so how is it scanned for 185? I don't... what? I'm not understanding how that's possible, but I guess I'll come back when the scan is complete. Alright, we're back. Um, so basically, uh, yeah, it's scanned and it found... apparently it discovered a thousand files in that folder, but there's only 155... I don't exactly sure what it was scanning. I, is it scanning memory, maybe? I'm not particularly certain. I guess we could see with a detailed report here and see if that actually will ever open. Okay. So, detected 115, not fixed 4. Why are they not fixed? You could just delete them. I don't understand. They are not running in memory yet. Um, okay. Sure. What are the four objects not pro uh, processed? Software that may cause harm. Okay. Um, resolve. Sh sure. Yeah, delete it. I'm a little bit confused. Okay, I guess that's it. Why does it say four ob- Okay, I'm not even going to question it. Like, I, I, I guess it- Let's just see how many files are deleted. <laughs> okay, so we have 55 files. And we have 155. So it deleted 100 files, basically. So, hmm, let's see. Let's do some math real quick here. Calc. EXE. So we had a 155. Oops. 155. Minus 55. Divided by 155. It's a 64% detection ratio. That's not great. Not not that great, honestly. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's not all that great, to be honest. Okay. Um, well, let's go ahead and... Um, okay, so... Yeah. I went ahead and ran a few files. Um, and Kaspersky just ignored everything, basically. Like... I'm not even really sure what's going on anymore. Like, there is a lot of stuff running in the background just from, like, a couple files of this folder. I'll go ahead and run a few more. Okay, it is doing something now. It's detected a few suspicious things. Um, characteristics. Close the application. Alrighty, we've got a professional licensing. No, let's close the applications. Run this. No, I don't actually want that. That's a game. I don't want the games. Okay, let's get a couple of these. See how many of these we can get running here. That max utility. Okay. Installation cannot complete. Sure, we'll try it. No, not gonna work. All right, cool. Yeah, as you can see, this we we've got a lot of stuff going on here. And. Kaspersky's getting a, a, picking up a few things out of it all, but it's not getting much. 
It's not doing a very good job at all, surprisingly. Yeah, let's install Babylon, why not? I mean, yeah, it's downloading software in the background, because first he's just ignoring it. It's got this exclamation point here for some reason, and it's just not doing anything. Let me see if I can actually update real quick and see if that actually does anything. Maybe there's an update. Is there an update? Or not? Uh, I guess we'll find out in a few seconds. Let's see. Yeah, there is apparently an update. All right, cool. Well, we'll go ahead and run this update, and then we'll uh, we'll do a quick scan with Kaspersky real quick, and we'll come back and we'll see what happens when uh, when Kaspersky um, scans. We'll see what it detects after all after this new update. So we'll come back real quick. Alrighty, um, the scan's almost finished. Just um, at the particular moment, I've been fighting back pop-ups for the past five minutes. Just random Internet Explorer tabs getting loaded up. So as you can see, the computer's pretty infected. And as I said before, Kaspersky didn't really throw up any block pages. Um, I'd ran a few of the files and I forgot to hit record. But once I realized what I did, I actually had to record one. So yeah, um, that was a few of the files that we already had going here. But we didn't really, you didn't really miss anything considering there wasn't any notifications or anything from Kaspersky. wasn't too big of a deal. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Kaspersky does it does some things. It removes some stuff, but it hasn't done a very good job of you know removing everything so far. So I don't know. It it it, it doesn't seem like it's doing too great. It had a 60, what was it, 64% detection rate? Yeah, a 64% protection, a de 64 detection rate. I think that was worse than the ESAT score. I'm fairly certain. Or it was either ESAT or it's worse than, uh, what was that other antivirus I tested just recently here? Um, uh, Bitefence, I believe it was. Bitefence anti-malware? Yeah, I think it had actually a better detection ratio than Kaspersky's doing right now at the moment. So, I don't know what Kaspersky's problem is at the particular moment, but yeah, it doesn't seem to be doing quite a very good job of keeping the computer clean. It might come in later on and delete some of this stuff, but I mean, it should never have let it onto the computer in the first place. Like, it should have deleted it the moment I ran it, instead of actually waiting for it to do something and then deleting it or disinfecting it or whatever. And disinfection is also kind of really silly, because you might as well just delete the file. Why bother disinfecting it and making it quote-unquote benign? I mean, you're just going to waste more time disinfecting rather than you would just deleting the file itself. I mean, unless it's like an, a, a system file, then I can understand a disinfection because it need, it's needed. But aside from that, I'm not really particularly certain as to why you would want to disinfect a file over deletion. I mean, it would just be a little bit better. So, I don't know. It's really up to the antivirus company, I guess. But they didn't do a very good job with this particular antivirus. And at the current state, I wouldn't recommend it <laughs> because it's doing very little. I mean, I get these occasional pop-ups that say adware detected. That's about it. I mean, and this is another thing with, with Kaspersky as well, too. I have had a message to disinfect and reinstart the, restart the computer about 40 times during the testing of this antivirus. It is insane how much it wants to restart. Like, I don't want to restart every five minutes. Like, I, it does, that's not going to happen. If I'm cleaning off a computer, I'm not going to restart the computer 400 times. Get everything as much as you can disinfected, and then go ahead and ask me to restart once you've got everything quarantined or get ready to quarantine it. Don't consistently keep asking me about restarting the computer because it's just going to annoy the living hell out of the user. It's going to annoy the living hell out of me. It's damn well going to annoy the living hell out of the user. And for some reason, the sound effect has stopped on the notifications, so that's interesting. I just realized I haven't actually got the notification sound yet, or recently. I mean, it did okay somewhat in, in certain portions of the test. It, it did better than others, but it, it still all around just kind of sucks, honestly. Like, I'm truly surprised how bad and how slow this antivirus scans, how bad these notifications are, the, how annoying that sound effect is when you get a notification when it's malware, or really it's supposed to be for any notification, but for some reason it isn't doing it at the moment. I think something may have tampered with Kaspersky. Anyway, yeah, I don't know. It just seems like it's really, really messed up here. <laughs> like, Kaspersky isn't doing anything, barely, except for a couple things and the occasional, I want to restart the computer, please let me, for, you know, things they could just terminate the process of and just say, hey, you know, that's done. Let me just delete that real quick. But no, no, I got to disinfect it for some apparent reason. So, anyway, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and let this scan finish, and then I'll go ahead and run a scan with Hitman Pro and Malwarebytes and quit rambling. So yeah, I'll go ahead and do that real quick.
um, well, not really quick considering this antivirus takes forever to scan. Whenever this one decides to finish scanning, I'll go ahead and do all those scans real quick and then we'll get it over with. So yeah, I'll see you then. Alright, we're back. So yeah, basically Kaspersky found some stuff. Not much though. It it found 11 objects. I'm not really exactly sure how many are on here, but it found some stuff. The computer doesn't look actually too bad at the moment. There is a lot of stuff that is still unknown and stuff like this keyword bacon and, and up Rosy and top space service seven or whatever in the hell it's called. So yeah, there there is a bit of stuff still on here. It did have actually a pretty good job at cleaning some of the stuff off. We'll go ahead and delete it real quick. Um, we're going ahead and um, finish the uh, review with the uh, Malwarebytes scans. So we'll go ahead and do Malwarebytes and Hitman Pro here. Run Hitman real quick. And we'll go ahead and run Malwarebytes as well. And we'll do a scan with these guys real quick and we'll come back. Alright, we're back. So yeah, as you can see, we've got quite a bit of stuff in app data here. Um, some of the stuff is also actually on the desktop as well. Some of the malware samples and stuff on the desktop are also detected, but that's the thing though. There is still plenty of stuff, like in the registry, we have stuff in temporary directory, one in uh, some adware in the temp, or Siswa, sorry, Siswa64. Uh, there's a, there was a, yeah, there's a system file here. So this is something, we have some kind of DNS redirect as well, because we go to here, we can see in Malwarebytes there's a DNS changer trojan. So yeah, we've got quite a bit of stuff still, actually, like we have this, 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 these are, these ones have auto runs, this one's actually running in memory as process ID 4492. So yeah, we've got quite a bit of stuff in the, in the system here, so. Unfortunately for Kaspersky, I'm probably going to have to classify this as a fail, because... I don't know. I haven't seen Kaspersky do much at this particular review. It, it, it's an occasionally some things. It, yeah, see, it comes up randomly. It does occasional disinfections of certain products, but or certain up, certain other samples. But it hasn't really done much as a, in the way of protecting the computer, unfortunately. So that's my review of uh, Kaspersky Antivirus 2016. Um, basically, it's a total fail. I mean, a 64% detection rate's not the greatest. I mean. It could be better on the detection rate, yeah. I mean, but it, it needs a, it needs something to be able to protect it from like you know, unknown malware, something that behaves like malware but it doesn't actually do anything. Particularly that it might be like they, they need a behavioral based detection is what I'm trying to say. You need to be able to detect the malware as it executes and be able to disinfect that malware or to delete it or whatever it wants to do with it, get rid of it, protect the user. It doesn't do a damn thing to protect the user at all. It just sits there, it looks pretty, and occasionally deletes something every so often. I mean, sure, yeah, you might say, oh, well, if, I, if I'm just using normal browsing habits, I probably won't get, you know, that one piece of malware that'll get that'll get past it. Sure, yeah, I guess you could say that. So maybe you could use it if, you know, you were an average user and you didn't, you know, search the web all the time and did everything on the web, and, and you might be all right. Like, but if you if you have kids or something, and they go around to different websites, and they can go to websites where they can get sketchy things, like you know different kinds of malware or if, you know whatever you might do, I wouldn't recommend this particular antivirus. I'd recommend plenty of other free options out there. Um, I'll be doing a few reviews on another, a couple other um, antiviruses in the coming days. Um, so yeah, basically, Kaspersky, no, nah, don't don't go with Kaspersky. I'll be doing, like I said, doing more reviews in the future um, over the course of this week and next week most likely um, for uh, different antiviruses, some free, some paid. So, we'll, um, yeah, just uh, be sure to keep an eye on my blog and be sure to check my Twitter. I uh, always post when I on my Twitter when I upload a new video. Um, and, yeah, be sure to subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.